there is a high chance that 2021 is the last year that we are going to have the normal bank exams after that CET is most definitely going to come into play so it's very important that you have a master plan a master strategy for this year and we are going to talk about the dates and you'll see that this year you're not going to get a lot of time so make sure that you watch this video carefully and plan your strategy for 2021 let's begin Hi, this is Shupriyo. So in this video, we are going to lay down a master strategy for our 2021 bank exams. Now, this is going to be extremely important, remember, because uh, as uh, was uh, rumored and uh, probably uh, it's going to happen that it is the last bank exam before the implementation of the CET exam. Now, we all know about the CET, about the implementation of the NRA and uh, the government wants to actually rationalize all those things. Now, uh, remember that September 2021, this was actually uh, earlier told to be the date of implementation of the CET. But right now, the uh, main uh, thinking is that around December of 2021, we are going to have the first CET exam. So uh, that is a tentative date. Uh, don't quote me on it. But uh, yeah, this is the probable date for the start of the CET exam. And uh, now, as you will be seeing, now we are going to talk about the dates and everything. And you are going to see that all the examinations they have been actually brought forward by uh, a few months because uh, it's quite uh, important to note that uh, IBPS as well they want to keep some kind of a buffer so that if December they have to go forward for the CT they are going to have another exam so remember that 2021 this is going to be a critical year because uh, for so many years we have been having the same pattern of the bank exams but now lots of things are going to be changing so for all of you watching I hope that 2021 you are able to get a job so that you don't have to uh, again prepare for the CT exam and all those things so just remember that that is how you have to actually uh, prepare for your uh, examinations and uh, just another thing that I wanted to tell you that uh, when you are preparing for these examinations now I have also told this in uh, an earlier video but I'll just tell you that many people were asking me about how they can go forward with all the 2021 exams what would be the best strategy for covering each and every section now remember that we have the quant we have the reasoning we have the english and we have the general awareness right so these are the important things that you have to cover for almost each and every single examination now how are you going to actually do it in the best possible manner uh, now at the present moment that i'm making this video you still have a few months before these examinations begin so try uh, and do this like if you are a newcomer this is something that's going to be very beneficial to you and even if you are somebody who has been preparing for some time uh, if you try this method i am sure that it's going to help you out so what you are going to do is that for the mondays and tuesdays uh, you are going to block out totally for your quant preparation now these two days see uh, the main concept is that you are not wasting time by studying multiple subjects in the same day many people make that mistake that they study the multiple subjects on the same day don't make that kind of a mistake so mondays and tuesdays you keep for your quant preparation wednesdays you are going to keep for your english preparation then thursdays and fridays you are going to keep for your reasoning preparation so these are the most important things that you have to follow and then of course you have your saturday and your sunday so these two days you can do your mock test and, be, and uh, just remember that for the mock test you need to have at least two mocks so two different mock test providers uh, just purchase any standard ones that you want uh, now most of them in the market are uh, close they are similar so it doesn't really matter which one you are actually picking just ensure that you pick some good quality mock and uh, then you are going to give the mock test in these two days and what this helps you essentially is that you block out different days for different subjects and this way you are able to cover more number of questions and your mind is not distracted now as your preparation becomes more and more advanced then every day you can do all the subjects that doesn't really matter but that is towards the end of your preparation towards the beginning of your preparation you have to build your concepts and this is the best way by which you are going to build your concepts and i want to tell you that ga section okay we are going to talk about ga section a little later but ga section do not neglect and each and every single day whenever you start your preparation you should start with the general level because that time your mind is fresh and you can learn and you can memorize all those important GA information because GA is always going to play a very vital role so each and every single day Monday to Sunday you have to go ahead and prepare for the GA that is a no-brainer you cannot really leave it uh, any any day so uh, GA will be constant and the other things you can switch around and uh, depending now this is not set in stone depending on your uh, strength or your weakness just change up your days and see which is the subject that needs more attention allocate more number of 
of days to that subject okay so now let us move to the dates uh, the important dates that we have to remember now this is going to be very very important and uh, you might have already seen the IBPS calendar so let me just run you through it uh, now for the 2021 calendar I have actually color coded it so that it's uh, much easier for you to pick out the information for the RRB exams the RRB clerk and the RRB PO now these are uh, it's important to remember that these are actually the office assistant examination the scale 1 examination and the scale 2 examination so I have just put it as clerk and PO so RRB clerk and PO the prelims examinations are mostly in August so August 2021 uh, first sec uh, seventh eighth 14th and 21 August so the initial parts they are probably going to keep it for the PO examinations and the later parts they are going to uh, give for the clerical examinations so that is how it actually happens usually uh, the mains examination see it is going to be on 25th September for the PO and the 3rd October for uh, the clerk examination so this is how you have to actually structure your preparation you have to remember the dates now these dates are not set in stone but most of the times it has been seen that IBPS honors these dates so you can think that these will be the mostly likely dates and uh, the IBPS clerk now IBPS clerk usually it is very very late in the year but this time they have brought it forward to the month of August now 28th August 29th August and 4th and 5th September so that is how you are going to have the prelims examination for IBPS clerk and see note over here that your RRB clerk and PO prelims they are all in August and also the IBPS clerk prelims they are also in August so you can understand when the examinations begin this is why I said that you're not going to get time at all when in August all these examinations start you are just going to be drowning in notifications in uh, prelims examination so you won't have time to recover at that time but this time at this present moment in March in April you have a lot of time so do not waste your time just keep your preparation very very sharp and uh, now these are about your prelims examinations about your mains examinations it is on 31st October 2021 and now see the mains of uh, clerical examination is going to be in October and again the IBPS PO the prelims for that it also is in October so 9 10 16 and 17 so again October will be having multiple examinations so you can see what's happening they are doing so many different examinations very very quickly so they want to wrap it up before the CET strikes and that is I think the main logic by which they are doing it and now for the mains examination 27 November 2021 so in November it's going to happen and now you're going to see that the SO examination this is quite different because the SO examination prelims it's going to be in December 2021 and then in January uh, 30th January it's going to have the mains now this is because SO this is actually not going to be impacted by CET at all so SO examination is totally different it is based on specialist knowledge and that is why they have kept it at the very end so this is how you are going to actually have to study and remember that because your uh, mains examinations they are going to start from September so your general awareness where should you start your general awareness preparation what is the date so it's very important to note that from April you are going to have to start full-fledged general awareness preparation and I would say that started from today itself so the end of March if you are starting you are going to get into a good flow and I would suggest that do as many MCQs as possible so once you do many many MCQs you are going to be easily remembering all the various data that you have read and that is why you should not waste any time for your general awareness preparation it is going to be very key remember that uh, now for the tentative info for the other exams now this of course uh, these are only guessworks right now but uh, the latest rumors they suggest that the SBI uh, CBO notification the circle based officer notification is going to come very very soon uh, so that is the first thing that you can actually uh, expect and I know it sucks because uh, mostly the experienced people they are going to be eligible for the CBO notification so we have already talked about the CBO and what it actually entails so that is how you're going to have to prepare for the CBO uh, if you are eligible for it and for the SBI PO now this is the most important notification and everybody all of you are waiting for that I know now remember that SBI PO the current batch of SBI PO people so uh, many of the people that uh, we had in that group the interview group they got selected and they are joining it is on 30th March so 30th March your uh, this last group of the SBI PO they are actually joining so that is the uh, non uh, uh, non deferred joining date so that is uh, very important to note so 30th March they are going to finish off with all the joining formalities so April they are going to take and 
and maybe uh, after April, uh, any day, the notification can come. Even in April, it is possible that SBI can come out with the notification and I feel that CBO is going to come first and then you are going to have the PO and the clerical examinations as well. So uh, a lot more people are going to be needed. Now this is some good news because there are lots of retirements this year as well and I think it was a little bit more than expected. So that also is going to come into play and all the uh, various schemes that SBI had launched and the voluntary retirement schemes. So they were also very much uh, well used by the employees and that is why uh, I feel that there is, a, there is a chance for lots of vacancies and you have to be very prepared for it. About the RBI grade B, I cannot comment on it because RBI grade B current process is still going on. So phase two examination will happen. But I feel that uh, towards the end of the year, RBI grade B will be coming once more and they also would be trying to do it before the CET implementation. Now we do not know whether CET is going to impact it. Uh, my hope is that it's not going to impact it too much because it is a very uh, different kind of an examination but we don't know the prelims might be affected so that is something that we have to be prepared about so that is all about the dates that you should be remembering and just remember these are not set in stone but these are very good for having some kind of a milestone so you know how I am going to structure my preparation if you know all these dates and uh, now uh, coming to the books that you have to buy so many people they keep asking me about the best books for these examinations now remember that uh, all the books I have discussed in various videos and even in the uh, description of this video and in the pinned comment you're going to get the links for the best books now if you want me to make a different video on the best bank examination books so I can make it so let me know if you want something like that but I feel that books are not that very important of course if you are a beginner it makes sense to uh, just use them but mostly you should be doing it with the mock tests so mock tests are extremely important they allow you to understand what is the current trend what is the current pattern of the examination and uh, practicing from mock tests and then creating your own error logs so that is something that I always recommend I have an entire video on the mock test analysis and I hope that uh, all of you have watched it so if you have not watched it go watch it because it's going to be very very useful for you uh, and then a note on the general awareness section now in the recent years what we have seen is that general awareness this is becoming more and more dense so for example if there is a, a question that what is India's ranking say for example in the happiness index so in the happiness index we all know about the current rank right the current rank is 139 but do you know the previous year's rank so that is also something that is sometimes asked do you know that it was 144 then previously it was also 140 so these kinds of numbers I'm not sure just verify these numbers uh, probably these are the correct numbers but anyhow you get the drift what I'm trying to tell that you have to read a lot of data lot of different kinds of data are these days asked and you have to read in depth so it's not enough to just read the main news you have to read the numbers and remember numbers are very important so focus on the numbers uh, it's going to be very important in these examinations because they are asking questions that are not direct so they are not asking only the factual data they are going a little bit to the past and these are the kinds of things that you have to do so uh, I would suggest that from today itself uh, start making your GA notes and you know how I have actually discussed I have told you how you are going to make the GA notes and this is the best time for you to make the GA notes now remember don't make long and dense notes now that does not really help anybody make notes that are easy to read that are not very long and you can revise them very very fast and even though I tell you to make the notes the most important emphasis should be on the MCQs so MCQs are very very important for preparation of the general awareness and remember you have to practice thousands of MCQs so that your GA preparation is actually perfect and uh, that is why I keep telling you do the MCQs and in this channel also you're going to find lots of MCQs in the future as well I will be trying to make more so that I can help and support you now uh, now coming to the prelims and the mains split so this is also very important many people they get through prelims but then they get stuck in the mains examination now I have told many many times what is uh, going wrong over here so most often I have seen that people they are not actually doing the proper simulation simulation means that you know when you have to actually give the examination so if the examination is for three hours then you have to sit at your seat for three hours at a stretch 
then your training time your preparation time it should be three plus hours so whenever you are practicing your practice sessions sh should be actually that long you cannot be sitting for just one hour then taking a break and then coming back now this is actually a problem of the instagram generation right now our attention it is diverted so much i know there are notifications in so many social media apps that keep popping up and then you are always distracted so always remember that you have to put your phone away you know put it on flight mode or silent mode or whatever it is so that you are not actually encouraged to check your notifications while you are solving these questions and that is how you have to actually build up your cognitive endurance so i keep talking about this word about cognitive endurance so cognitive endurance means how long can you keep preparation how long can you keep your brain active without actually losing any attention so your brain has to be very very active during these examinations and remember that whatever happens you have to just keep focused on the question at hand and this only happens after a lot and lot of practice so simulation that is the key and another very important thing that people forget is that you have to have choosing so choose the correct questions in your mains examination that is going to play a vital vital role in fact sometimes for the mains preparation what i tell people is that you don't solve the questions you just read the question read the question and then see will i be able to solve it then just mark it that okay this is something that i can solve then go to the next question then see if you don't want to solve just put a cross then the next question will i be able to solve put a tick so after you have done this then actually go and solve these questions then you will be understanding was my prediction correct so are you able to predict how long it is going to take for you to solve that question if your prediction is correct believe me then you are going to do very very well in the mains examination so that is what you have to remember now my final thoughts for all these things just i want you to remember that yes uh, there are lots of changes that are going to come and yes it is also very likely that we are going to see less number of vacancies now don't be surprised remember this in this year we are going to see maybe record low vacancies this is going to happen it's not any kind of surprise because uh, the last recruitment that has just taken place and then they are going to recruit another time very very soon so the chances of less vacancies are very very real so don't be depressed when you are seeing that low number of vacancies low number of uh, people are going to get recruited that is not your concern your concern should be with your preparation level you have to be well prepared so that even if there are record low vacancies you still get a seat so focus on yourself don't focus on the external world because there are so many difficulties so many challenges and i know that you are going through lots of struggles everybody is going through lots of struggles it is a very hard time for all of us but believe me you have to keep faith you have to keep working hard and you have to be consistent consistency is very very important keep showing up every single day and i am pretty sure that if you do not give up 100% you are going to have a job at the end of the year i hope that you learned something from this video and that it was beneficial to you if you enjoyed it please click on the like button and share it with your friends and if you want to see more of this kind of content please click on the subscribe button and do not forget to click the bell icon so that you my friend do not miss any future update i'll see you in the next video